Hello, everyone, and welcome to Virtual Anthrocon 2020. I'm Freeze Frame, and I'm the video director for Anthrocon, and I'll be your host for opening ceremonies. As most of you already know, we have canceled our in-person event this year due to COVID-19. This is for the safety of our attendees and staff, as well as the entire city of Pittsburgh, who joins us every year to share in the festivities. This was an incredibly hard decision to make, but safety is our number one priority, and we couldn't, in good faith, host an event under these circumstances. Our AV team has stepped up to bring you some of the great content you're used to seeing every year, and we'll talk about that in a second. But first, let's talk about how our team is staying safe while making this event happen. To ensure all of our staff is socially distanced, all workstations are placed at least six feet apart. Shared work surfaces like laptops and audio consoles are wiped down and sanitized between users. Headphones and intercom headsets are assigned to each person and will not be shared. Hand sanitizer is available at every workstation, as well as by the entrance of the building. Masks are worn at all times by all crew members. If someone is on camera without a mask on, they are in a separate room by themselves. And that's what we're doing at Virtual Anthrocon to keep our staff safe. In addition to all of this, several of our staff members are also working remotely to reduce travel and in-person contact. Now let's shift to content. Anthrocon normally has hundreds of panels going on throughout the weekend, and we couldn't fit everyone in, but we reached out to some of our regular panelists to host some events virtually this year. Let's first turn to Gail Frostbane, who hosts First Seating 101. Gail? Oh my God, thank you guys so much for having me. I am so, so excited to be here at Virtual Anthrocon. You can tune in a little bit later and we'll be having the Fursuiting 101 panel. It is going to be so much fun. There are so many fluffy friends that want to teach you what it's like to get a fursuit and start fursuit acting. Aren't you so excited? I'm so excited. This panel is going to be so great. There's going to be so many fluffy friends and dumb fluffy antics. Thank you so much for having me, Anthropod. I really appreciate you. Uh, you okay there, Gail? Uh, can someone go check on her? Um, Anyway, you can check out Gail's panel, First Seating 101, right after opening ceremonies, right here at 6 p.m. Eastern. As many of you have heard, there's a brand new documentary coming out about the fandom called The Fandom. It goes back to the very beginning of our community to find out how it all started and what it was like at the earliest conventions. Here's one of the filmmakers behind it all, Ash Coyote. How's it going, everyone? It's Ash. Some of you may know me as Ash Coyote Online. I am just, oh my god, so excited to be doing a panel this weekend. So we're going to be hosting a Q&A about the fandom, the feature film that we just finished up making. I will be joined with my co-director, Eric, who's also known as Ash the Eagle. Yes, there's two Ashes on this film. And we will be just doing a general Q&A about the film. So come with all your questions you might have, you know, like anything, any details that you want to know about what we put in into this film. We'll talk a little bit about our process. It's going to be super fun. I, I can't wait to talk to you all about this. Also, as some of you may or may not know, the film is having its worldwide premiere today. That's right, today at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time on my YouTube channel. And that's youtube.com slash Ash Coyote. I hope to see you all there. We're going to be having a premiere stream, so hop on the chat. Say hi to me. Say hi to Ash. Say hi to everybody else. I look forward to seeing you at the panel. Thank you, Ash, and you can watch our live Q&A tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern, and the film premieres tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, so be sure to tweet your questions at us with hashtag fandom q and Now, every year we have a dance competition, and this year is no different. We asked you to submit your best fursuit dancing videos, and you guys absolutely delivered. Here to tell us more about it is the host of the dance comp, Zeke Hyena. As you might know, We've got a dance competition at Anthrocon, which is one of the biggest and best events that happens. And since we're all at home, we decided that we're going to host an online version. We got over 50 entries, and out of those 50, we've narrowed it down to a final 20 that'll be performing on Sunday's broadcast of the online dance competition, featuring a special panel of judges, including Atsu Fox, Remix Wolf, and Strobes. So make sure that you tune in Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, at anthrocon.tv and watch all of those amazing dancers show their stuff from the comforts of their homes. I hope to see all you there. Thanks, Zeke. You can watch the dance competition live this Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Now, just like every year, we'll have live DJs and dances every single night. And here to tell us more about it is Anthrocon's DJ coordinator, Veyote. Hey guys, it's Veyote and I'm the dance lead for Virtual Anthrocon 2020. I'm really excited about the dances this year. Over the next three nights, we'll have a total of 14 DJs, 
some of which have never played AC before, some of which we haven't had at AC in a long time, so we're really excited to have them back. Um, I tried to make the lineup as eclectic and diverse as possible. We've got everything from the usual con staples like house and progressive and trance and stuff like that, but we've also got hip hop, we've got top 40, we've got all of our bases covered, I hope. Um, so keep a lookout for the lineup, which has already been posted on Anthrocon Dances on Twitter. Uh, all the DJs are basically streaming in their sets live from wherever they are, so we're excited to kind of see how that works. Um, but we're all really excited, and I hope to see you there. Thanks. Be sure to tune in every night from 10 p.m. until the wee hours of the morning for some incredible live DJs. We have a ton of great talent lined up, and you can check out our Twitter for more information. Now, it wouldn't be Virtual Anthrocon without some virtual reality. And one of our staff members has set up a virtual convention center in VR chat that some of you might have already been in. Here's Fur to talk more about this new virtual space. Hi friends, my name's Fur, and I want to talk to you a little bit about the virtual part of Virtual Anthrocon this year. We spent a lot of time recreating your favorite spots from the convention in virtual reality so you can experience it from the comfort of your own home. In addition to the main ballroom, we created the Headless Lounge, Artist Alley, Riverfront, and even more places for you to hang out with your friends during this virtual event, and even the rest of the year. All the events from the YouTube stream will be simulcast in the virtual world, so you'll be able to experience all of the events as if you were really there. If you have never heard of VR Chat, don't worry, it is super simple to get going. You don't need a VR headset or even a powerful computer to join and participate. The instructions and a link to this world will be below this video. We even have a fully functioning dealer's den filled with some of the finest furry artists, musicians, and avatar makers. There are even a few Anthrocon exclusive avatars you can pick up from the dealer's den today for free. For those of you that are more advanced, this world has a couple of easter eggs hidden in it that will be revealed as the weekend goes on. And there will even be a couple of VR Chat exclusive panels on avatar and world building you'll definitely want to check out. I do want us to give a thank you to Brian the Husky, Vin, Ness, Ellie Geckos, and Kitsungit for giving me feedback and helping me make this world. Back to you, Freeze. And you can access all of that at the link below, or just search for Anthrocon in-game. Fur is also running a panel Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern about how to integrate electronics into your fursuit. Overall, we've been working really hard to make sure you still have a little bit of Anthrocon this weekend. Remember to stay safe, have fun, and practice social distancing this weekend while you celebrate July 4th with your loved ones. Thank you so much for watching, and coming up next is Fursuiting 101 with Gail Frostbane. See you guys! Hello everyone, I'm Freeze Frame. The people who normally do closing ceremonies couldn't make it down here, so the AV team is doing it this year, and we're gonna set the record for the world's fastest closing ceremonies. The previous record was set at Anthrocon 2004, when someone tripped over a cable backstage and unplugged all the lights and speakers. Now, we had a small dip in our attendance count this year, but on the plus side, our reg lines were almost non-existent. I'm happy to report that zero fursuiters fell into the giant hole in front of the Westin, but someone did fall asleep in the lobby in fursuit. Speaking of fursuiters, here's some video from our fursuit parade. And here's the fursuit group photo. Finally, we had tens of thousands of viewers and we'd love to tell you an exact number, but we've had a long weekend. Now, it's my pleasure to announce the winner of our super big grand prize raffle. The winner is T Congratulations, we are all so happy for you. Now please contact us within the next one minute and nine seconds or you forfeit your prize. Now we couldn't have done this without all of our amazing crew and performers. I personally want to thank Gail, Cooper Tom, Rhubarb and Cosmic, Boozy Badger, Alkali, Ash Coyote and Ash Eagle, Foxamore, Pepper Coyote, Tanya Song, Fur, Fizz, Skuro, Wolfgang Wolf. Our amazing dance comp judges were Ronnie, Atsu, Strobes, all of our amazing DJs, all of our amazing dancers, and for our video team, I want to thank Time Suppression, Paradox, Simon, Nieto, our web team was Leon and Xylos, our mod team was led by Coolgi, Veyote coordinated all of our amazing DJs, programming leads this year were Ash and Protocoli, Gen Talon and Audi are our fearless leaders, thank you Uncle Kage for letting us do this inexplicably with almost no oversight, 
KP and OC for doing their best to help coordinate guests. Thanks to Giza for technical assistance. Fur created the VR chat world. For Astrocasters, we have Chris Chang and Alex Dang. Those are our performers. That's our crew. I'm Freeze Frame. If you want to see us in person next year, wear a mask, wash your hands, practice social distancing. This was Virtual Anthrocon. Here are the dances. Good night. Silver Gato Man, he bought me a coffee. Silver Gato Man, here is the song for thee. He likes to video all the panels at the cons. You should go and watch them whether they are short or long. Silver Gato Man, you video that's not a jibe. All of you go to his YouTube channel and like and subscribe. <laughs>